How's it going today guys? Today I got a special video coming up for you guys. Is Simran's best unit, the EVO 3S, being discontinued? If so, what's replacing it? I'm assuming it would be an EVO 4. Um, I don't know if that's what they're going to call it, but what would happen with that? What would it look like? How soon? And with that being said, be sure to check out the Simrad links down below in the description. That way you guys can make sure you guys are buying all your equipment from an authorized Simrad dealer. Save that link for the future as well. That way you don't forget it. And that way you can make sure you're getting any rebates or warranty that might be on your purchase. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button on this video. That way it gets out to more people and you don't miss a future video. Let me know your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And with that being said, let's get into the video. As I get into this video, I just want to say, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I could be 100% right, I could be 100% wrong, I could be partially right, I could be partially wrong. We'll see what happens, but in the meantime, this is my speculation, my honest thoughts on what I think is to come with a new, potentially new screen to replace the EVO 3S. And with that being said, let's get into our first topic. Number one, is it being discontinued soon? So my th thinking is that it's not reason I say it's not, about a year ago they came out with the MSX, basically that's to replace the GO unit, that was intended to replace it, have better processing power, which it did, have a more unique screen, um, It was it's definitely a better screen, but it's not quite on point to what they expected it to be, and they're still trying to work out some of those kinks to get it just right, um, hopefully the next few software updates for that MSX unit they'll have it figured out. That's probably going to be six months to a year and a half, or possibly even two years. Um, big companies like that, they just don't move quick overnight like that. Um, things take time, and then also keep in mind that they're going to have to test out the new Evo 4s for at least six months, and they're going to have to make sure that they have all that worked out, that there's no issues, because they don't want to do again what they did with the NSX. And so the biggest thing that you're going to see in a new Evo 4, that would be my guess, is other than the processing power is the screen on it it's gonna be a much better touch screen it's gonna be a much higher quality touch screen so your image will be much better um, you'll be able to see like the bottom like when you're on side scan looking for structure or down scan or echo um, see what's below your boat in much greater detail that way it helps you determine what spots to fish and see what's below your boat as well because the screen will be better so it'll have better resolution and all that. So that's gonna be the biggest thing that's gonna come out in the new screen. Obviously, it's gonna have better integration with other Simrad technology, um, other new technologies that get released in the marine market right now. Tons of new technology gets released all the time. Um, so it's gonna be compatible with those, whereas old units may not, like with any units that they put out. And once again, the processing power is gonna be what you can expect to see. So how soon would that be? We're going to take probably, let's just say a year to get the NSX worked out, at least six months to a year of trying to figure out a new screen for the EVO 4. They haven't even designed it yet. When I talked to the guys at Navico, they basically said, look, we really want this new type of screen to be a big deal for us, and the NSX isn't quite there yet, and they wanted to basically use the same screen as in the NSX, make improvements on it and put it out in an EVO 4, but they said that it's not gonna be anytime soon. They claim it's gonna be at least three to five years. I definitely can see why that would be because if it's gonna take about a year to figure out the kinks in the NSX, and then six months to a year to, pro to process the issue, to process the screen to make sure it's gonna function right because they don't wanna put something out that's just gonna be, have a bad rep and just like start failing and all that. And they gotta design it and think about what new features they're gonna put in the screen uh, how they can improve it and make it better because obviously if it's the same as the Evo 3S nobody's gonna buy it because why spend the money for something that is the exact same so this, pro this new screen is probably gonna have a better touch screen it's gonna have better integration with other marine electronics may it be your vessel view your cameras on the boat that you may have autopilot radar 
all that good stuff. It's gonna have better integration, especially with Simrad products, and the touchscreen on it is gonna be much better. It's gonna be much more improved, and it's gonna be much, much better. And probably even some other new unique features. I know a lot of the stuff that they're trying to play around with right now is like integration with like your phone and like getting on the internet and being able to do stuff with your screen. I'm not sure exactly what we could expect to see, but something like that. I know something that Garmin and Raymarine have played around a lot with a lot is this idea of almost like how when you buy a new car, you put it in reverse and it shows you basically how you're going to park. That's a new feature that they're trying to work out on a lot of the bigger yachts with the cameras. And basically almost like you could say park itself, but I would call it more like park assist. Um, so that way when you're back into a slip, it's a little bit easier. I don't know how exactly it works. I haven't looked into it too much. But it's definitely going to be something that you're probably going to expect to see in a new screen. And it's just going to be an awesome screen when it comes out. I can't wait. Um, and it's going to be really great when they ever they do come out. Because I know on the Evo 3 S, they did a great job improving over the Evo 3. And on the Evo 4, they've learned a lot from the NSX. And they're certainly going to have a much better screen with the Evo 4. However, that's not going to be anytime soon for sure. It's going to be at least a couple of years. If I had to put a number to it, I would say probably three to four years. Um, that way, everything works seamlessly on it and it's an enjoyable screen for the users to use. And with that being said, that wraps up this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss a future video. Smash the like button on this video and check out the similar links down below. That way you make sure you're buying from an authorized dealer, getting rebates and warranties that are eligible on your products. And with that being said, enjoy your SimRad products and until next time.